Hi, this is Tara, and what I wanted to talk to you about today was the Roth conversion for 2010. Is it for you? Um, I can tell you right now that this is not a purely black and white issue, and there are some points you need to consider, think about, and possibly get some advice on. Uh, if you Google Roth conversion calculators, you're going to come up with a lot of free calculators that you can run through some what-if scenarios to kind of get a feel for whether or not it, it may help you or not. One of the biggest uh, things the calculator you can play with is your tax rate. So for example, if when you retire, your tax rate is going to be less than it is now, may not make that big of an impact. Um, when you retire, if there's the chance that your tax rate or tax bracket could go up, uh, potentially it could mean, mean a big savings for you uh, to do that. And again, those are questions that you have to look at and know for yourself. Uh, you know, no one can know that just looking at you, what your situation is going to be. Some other areas that you want to think about is uh, your estate planning. What are you planning to do uh, with your inheritance when you leave it to your family and friends? Those are implications you'll need to talk with an estate planning attorney or your CPA and financial advisor could help you out with that. Uh, the tax implications, again, those are uh, all there, so you need to think about those. There are, however, two considerations that you really want to think about. One is if you're pretty close to needing the money, and you're going to be wanting to pull the money out, especially like if you're within five years, definitely do the math and see if it's going to be worthwhile for you to pay. Um, you don't know what Congress is going to do with the tax legislation, but uh, that's a fairly near term type of issue. So just really look at that. The second thing you really want to consider is if you have a traditional account that you're going to convert to a Roth account, because you're less than 59 and a half, you're going to have to pay the taxes on that. Um, it's mathematically different if you have outside funds to pay those taxes versus if you're going to convert the funds and then use money from inside your fund to pay that 10% uh, penalty for the conversion. So it doesn't mean you don't want to do it. It just means that you definitely want to look at that and, and know that's going to happen because uh, it's going to be paid for one way or another. And whoever's helping you out should walk you through that and let you know. So again, the Roth 2010 conversion is a great tax tool, uh, but it's not black and white, and you've got to do the research and figure out if it's going to help you or not. So thanks. Good luck.